3D printer, what does it do and how much do they cost? Uh, well, um, what you probably have in your home or office or home office today is a 2D printer uh, because a piece of paper has length and width, but what would be that third dimension? That would be height. And uh, that's what a 3D printer does, is it prints in three dimensions. Now you're thinking, well, how the heck does it pull that off? Uh, essentially, and again, the, the, this technology is not widely available, uh, and you're asking how much it costs, uh, I've, I've only heard about commercially available printers being somewhere in the $5,000 range, so it ain't cheap. Although I did read a guy in Popular Science who's trying to create some kind of kit, a homebrew kit, where you could build your own 3D printer using common parts or commonly available products you know, off the shelf or from the internet and assemble your own 3D printer. So for years and years, uh, there's been software that has helped architects, that have helped designers, engineers. It's called CAD software. Uh, CAD is known by like a, a million different things. What is it? Uh, uh, it would be computer-aided design, computer-aided drafting, computer-assisted draft. It's, it's essentially a way that you can, uh, on a computer screen, a 2D screen, visualize something in 3D. So if you've ever played with Google's SketchUp, that's a, a 3D application that you can not just see a, a flat surface, but you can actually interact with 3D objects. So an object on the screen isn't just 2D, it's not flat. Like Super Mario Brothers, that's a 2D object uh, versus, let's say, a, a Halo character, which is 3D. To be able to take that 3D object out of the game, out of the, the rendering, and I'm not saying that's the way it's going to happen, but out of this 3D software world and into the real world, the 3D printer, or a 3D printer, uh, has been known to use like polymers, or essentially a, like a plastic, to print in layers. So have you ever seen, um, you know, medical shows where they will show cutaways of someone's, let's say, CAT scan or some kind of body scan, and they'll show it a layer at a time so they can analyze exactly where an anomaly or an object might be somewhere in the body? Um, that is essentially how the printer goes. It goes layer by layer by layer by layer by, by layer by layer. And when it does that, it's creating length, width, and as it goes up or down, it's creating height as well.